Josh Paul. I'm the Democrat running for Attorney General against Brad Schimmel. I grew up in Oshkosh and Fond du Lac. Uh, I am a, uh, I grew up in a family that was deeply involved okay. in public service. Uh, I was the fullback on the Fondy Cardinals football team where I scored one touchdown. Uh, it, was, it was from one yard out, but it counts as a touchdown all the same. Uh, as you know, there have been efforts in states around the country to make it harder for people to vote. So I'm on board to challenge laws that restrict access to voting in Virginia and Ohio and Arizona and North Carolina. But the case I'm proudest of is one we tried here in Wisconsin where we challenged more than a dozen different measures that restricted access to voting that were enacted in Scott Walker's first term in office, as well as a law that limited early voting to one location per municipality, no matter how big the municipality was. And you can imagine how that played out a little differently here in Milwaukee versus in Fond du Lac. In, in Milwaukee, in some elections, there were lines around the block with people waiting to vote. A uh, federal court judge uh, struck down um, several of the restrictions on voting, including restrictions on early voting um, and some rules that made it harder to register to vote. And there's so much that an effective attorney general can do to help us move in the right direction. We have an opioid epidemic that continues to get worse. There are nearly 900 opioid-related overdose deaths in Wisconsin last year. And I don't think we're going to beat that epidemic until we start responding to it like the crisis it is. Uh, I think we need to expand Medicaid here in Wisconsin as well. If we do that, we'll be able to cover uh, about 80,000 additional Wisconsinites under Badger Care, which means that more people will have the coverage they need to afford treatment. And we'd actually save the state about $190 million a year. Our AG also mishandled Wisconsin's backlog of untested rape kits. In his first year in office, we received millions of dollars to address that backlog. There were over 4,000 kits that needed to be tested. But after he had been AG for two years, only nine of the kits in the backlog had been tested. What that has meant is that there's been a delay in getting justice for survivors and that dangerous criminals have remained on the streets. I think we also need to do more on school safety. Um, you may have seen that my opponent suggested that we consider arming teachers in this context. <laughs> uh, I think what we need are some common sense gun safety measures like universal background checks and a ban on bump stocks. And as Attorney General, I will fight against any effort to arm teachers in Wisconsin. Mm -hmm. Betsy DeVos rolled back protections for students who were defrauded by predatory for-profit colleges. A number of AGs stood up and spoke out and, and some took action. Our AG was, was nowhere to be found. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, he's got the state involved in challenges to several <coughs> policies that were enacted under the Obama administration, including a rule that guaranteed overtime pay for people who put in the hours and make between about twenty-three dollars and $47,000 a year. Uh, so he's fighting against overtime pay. Uh, he also is one of the leaders right now of a lawsuit that's seeking to invalidate um, protections, that's seeking to invalidate the Affordable Care Act overall. If the major components of the Affordable Care Act are eliminated, more than 30 million Americans will become uninsured. Um, so that suit is not in the interest of Wisconsinites. And as Attorney General, I would seek to withdraw the state of Wisconsin from that lawsuit. Uh, and most famously, he spent about nearly $10,000 of taxpayer money on fake gold-plated coins with his name on them. Um, I have a four-year-old and a one-year-old, so in my household, if you're going to spend money on fake coins, they better have chocolate inside. Yeah. <laughs> uh, there are clear differences uh, on the issues. Uh, and. Election day is, uh, what, what are we at now? Uh, 18 days away, I think. Um, uh, thank you all for coming.